Hey, welcome back. Have you got an Instagram account? Have you got lots of images and you're using it to advertise you, your business, your shop, or whatever else in your life is going on? What if you want to add that to your website? It can be quite a nice feature at the bottom of the home page sometimes, or maybe on a shop page even, where you're trying to get people to understand, you know, why is this product so good? Why are you so amazing? What are you doing when you're not promoting your business? You know, you might have a family, you might go on holiday, you want to keep people engaged, right? It is dead, dead simple for you to add this to your Elementor using a free plugin. There are other add-ons out there which will have an Instagram feed as part of it. But if you're just after an Instagram feed that you want to stick on your Elementor Pro website or even Elementor Free by way, this is a really dead easy way to do it. By the way, I'm Imran, Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe and follow us so that you can keep up to date with so many amazing things with Elementor and WordPress to help you, your client, your businesses, and everyone else in your big family, because they all love to see what you're doing with your creativity. Okay, so we got Instagram. If we go over to our WordPress website, I've just typed in Smash Balloon, okay, because the name did change a while ago. It used to be Smash Balloon Instagram feed. It's now Smash Balloon social photo feed. But just type in Smash Balloon and you'll get the one you want. What we're gonna do is we're gonna install this and then activate it. Now, please bear in mind, if you're doing this on behalf of a client, make sure you know or can get hold of their Instagram login details because you've got to make the connection. Don't do the connection and they're not going to talk to one another. OK, let's just activate that. And once that's activated, we'll go in and look at the settings. There are other settings within here which are um, allow you to do loads more features, but I actually wouldn't worry too much about that. So we're just going to go into Smash Balloon Instagram feed and we're going to go into settings. You do get the option to kind of um, try out the pro features, but unless you're intending to invest in the pro version, just stick with what you get. Yeah. OK, so what we're going to do now is connect to an Instagram account. When you click that, it will go to Instagram. And if you've got multiple accounts, it's going to say to you, well, which account do you want to um, click on to? Let me just move myself down here. So we're going to click connect connect and we will allow obviously if you don't allow it's not gonna fly through you know the world and do everything for you so we're now going to click connect this account now it knows it's the web squadron because i have got other instagram accounts so one tip i would have for you is have the web the instagram account you're going to connect to open and you've already logged in so if you've got multiple instagram accounts and you try to connect it's going to start so well, which one do you want and you might be fine with that, but I would say log in to make sure you know what your login and your password is. And then once you've done that, you can go in and then connect. So right now this has, because I've already opened it in another window, it's gone in, made the connection, and it is now connected. If it ever drops the connection, it can happen, but if it ever does, you just go back over here and reconnect. It's like a 30 second job, maybe 45 seconds if you can't remember your password. But it doesn't take that long, right? So we've gone in now and um, this is what we're using. We're not gonna use any pro features. Um, how often do I want this to update? So I could change this to be every minute, every hour. I'm gonna say just go for every hour because one thing I have learned is that is if you have it refreshing every five minutes, 10 minutes or whatever, you can end up getting a bit of a lag or a delay on your website. And I would say every hour is totally fine. I mean, unless you're trying to let people, unless you're really erratic and you take an Instagram image like every five minutes, do, 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 continuously, then you might want to go for more. But it is going to refresh every hour. Now, what does that mean? If from now until the end of the hour, you put six photos on Instagram, when this refreshes after an hour, all six will come through. OK, so don't think, oh, my God, it's going to do one per hour. No, it will look at what's the latest feed and it will pull it through. So don't feel like you've got to do a five, 10 minute refresh. It's overkill. You don't need to do that. Let's now scroll down. Let's just make sure that's saved, which we don't need to do. Let's just scroll down. Um, this is now where we can copy and paste the code. So when we copy that, that's going to take the feed over. However, if we just go with that, well, let me show you what you're going to get. OK, let me just show you what you get. So if I copy that short code and I go over to pages, and we'll go into our test page, which is now known as the awesome page, because I love to be creative like that. Right, the awesome page. Let me just come over here so you can see my hands a bit more when I do that. 
Yes. Right. So we're going to add in the short code widget. You know, this is how you do it. And we just drop in Instagram feed. We click apply. And it will, sometimes it doesn't always appear and you've got to go to preview. Okay. So let's just go to update. And we'll go to preview. So there we go. That's now pulled. There's the Instagram page. And on the website, when we're previewing it, it's bringing over currently a four by five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so 20 items. Now, maybe we don't want it to look like this. Maybe we want the images to be smaller or whatever. And by the way, you can click, when you click the image, it will take you to Instagram, by the way. Okay, so don't be fooled into thinking, well, what does it do? It will take you to Instagram and you do have buttons at the bottom down here, which are load more so you can load more or follow. So you're creating that connection to get them to go to you. OK, right. Let's just um, uh, let's leave that page open, by the way. And let's go back to the settings. So that's the basic, basic setting. If we go to customize, OK, here's where you can start to modify. Now, I find the width of the field and the height of the field, leave them as it is and the background color, unless you are very specific about the background colors. So let me just go in here and just pick black as the background color, just so we can see what it looks like. I tend to find that if you're gonna have images, a clean background works well. I mean, black would work quite well here because I have black borders on the images, but hey, let us not digress. Let us stick to the task at hand. Are we gonna have any padding? How many photos are we gonna have? So I'm gonna say, let's stick to 20. And we will go for um, how many columns? So at the minute we've got four. Let's go for six. So now six and 20 doesn't work. So now let's go for uh, 24. So six, 12, 18, 20. In fact, I'm going to say 18. Um, let's just go for 18. Right, so six, 12, 18. All right, that's fine. If you want to see more, you go, you load more or you go to the Instagram page. Newest to all this, obviously. Um, image resolution, I would leave that as it is. Photo hover style, again, this is the this is where you can get it to like when you hover over it, the images, you know, move a bit. That's if you want to go with pro. Carousel, again, if you want a carousel, but again, this is free. So I'm trying to keep it as cost effective for you as possible. Right. Um, this is where we can now start to modify what is shown. So we might want to change the color. Um, you know, your custom avatar, if you want to add one in, for instance, or just, again, keep it simple and just use what comes through from Web Squadron. But if you want to add in a custom image at the top there, you know, where it says Web Squadron, you can do that as well. Um, just make sure, do I need to hit save changes? Yeah, let me hit save changes there. Do always hit save changes when it asks you to do that. And you can start to also modify the like button or the load more button. So I'm going to say the background color for the load button is a red and the text for it is going to be a white. Okay, I'm just showing you how it works. And do we want to put the word load more or or click me? Like that. Why would you do that? Why would you have that? Click me. You know, it's, it's like Alice in Wonderland. Eat me. Drink me. You don't do it, do you? Someone says, here's a cake. Eat me. Do you eat it? Or do you kind of throw it in the air and see what comes out of it? Lots of crumbs usually all over your hair. Crumb attack. And we're just going to save those changes as well. Right. I mean, um, I mean, bear in mind, though, with the layout, I kind of skipped this. There are other layouts available in the pro in how you do it. So you can have masonry and all of that. But again, look, we're keeping it free for what we're doing here. Um, you know, and then there are some other options as well. Uh, so, yeah, load more. The follow me button. Again, you can change the color scheme, but I don't want to dwell on this too much. Right. Um, now we're just going to go and check the other tabs really, 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 really quickly. Display your feed. So if we now go over here, this is where you can start to pick up some more coding in terms of how's it going to look. So this is where you can now start to pick up um, and modify things a little bit more. So you might want to say, okay, you're going to adjust like the height or the, the padding or the actual layout of, of how it looks. And if you want to get involved into it and pick up a particular short code, you are free to do so. I don't bother with this. I don't, don't start messing around with like, you know, I mean, yeah, of course, if you don't want the load more button to show because you want it to only ever be the latest 12 images or whatever, you can do this and put show button equals false. So that button completely disappears. And if you don't want the follow button to show some of these items are in pink, 
because you can't add them in unless you go for the pro version. So have a think about there in terms of what you're doing. Okay, uh, and obviously there is also more social feeds from Smash Balloon as well. So they've got it for Facebook, Twitter, and stuff like that. So they are a really, really good setup in getting extra feeds for your website. Let's just go over to here, and let's just now go over to our page over here. If I now refresh this page, we now have a black background. We now have 18 items showing, which is really, really cool. Um, and it's, you know, six columns, 18 items, click me button at the bottom there, and that's it. You know, so we are able to add this short code anywhere we want on our website, and it's free and a dead, dead simple way of doing it. Hey, I hope you like, I hope you subscribe, and I'll see you soon.